Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's oh, super kick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Third. Let's go. Super kick party. Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you're going to get the coffin skin. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Wednesday night to one and all here. Let's get everything changed over here. Coming right in on time for uh, Dynamite tonight. Sorry I'm a little late. Hey, Jake Quick, good to see you here today. Good to see everybody popping in here. Uh, yeah, I'm a little tight on time today. I was trying to get... I forgot to check my Xbox and see if there were any updates to do. Um... Yeah, about 10 minutes to go. I'm going to have to get uh, the Xbox fired up and let it do its updates while we're watching Dynamite tonight. This is going to be a really weird Dynamite tonight. We got the f the follow from All In. They got a week and a half to prep for All Out. And yeah, we got a lot to go through here. So, And they're in Providence, so... There's a way that you you might be able to see MJF here tonight. They are definitely going to set up some matches for the PPV. We got some interesting matches tonight. We got... Uh, oh, they're, they're in Champagne tonight. You idiot. I'll just chunk that, chunk that up. So they're going to be there for a week, in other words. I guess they'll run around for a couple of nights and then just, yeah, the, P the PPV's there, so it makes sense. So, yeah, we got Ishii and Hangman, which I'm assuming is probably going to be one of Ishii's last matches on AEW for a while. And then, yeah, I got the uh, shirt for tonight is the Killer and the Pillar. One of the last times I'll probably get a chance to wear it, the uh, Britt Baker... Uh, Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter collab shirt. Not sure if that group is going to work together still, or I got a feeling Britt might turn on her tonight. Moxie's no long coming out to Wild Thing. I love the fact that the internet has been bitching because Moxley was at a Rev Pro show this weekend in like an hour from his house. Like one of his best friends is Sammy Callahan, right? And it just, it's so stupid. The people that came out and said, oh, Moxley, he's, uh, He's done. He's unhappy. He's this. He's he's taking a freaking couple weeks off. Be thankful we have the size of a roster that we do. But yeah, they got rid of Wild Thing. I'm assuming it's because it probably cost a lot. Moxley in dress pants. Well, he's not here to fight tonight. Do you really want to go talk to him, Shivani? Do you? As the guy gets kicked in the face coming across the barricade? A little darker music, too, so maybe things have got a little darker for him. I just hope everyone has fun. Shut up. Nobody wants to have fun here tonight. Come on now. MJF punched my sign and there's a hole in the middle. Uh-oh. 
We got heal Mox. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, it's about time you and I had a talk. Trust me, I'm not going to be hard to find. Um, Okay, here we go. Huh? Well, we found Mr. Anti Elite right now. I know Shivani's gonna be like, what the hell does that mean? Well, let's go check out the wife and see what she's gotta say. Ah, hey Doritos! Okay. You she ain't gonna say a word, you know that as well as I do. What? Okay. Chicago Street Fight, Nightingale, and Statlander. Okay. I got to fill in the... The heck? He's like... Yeah, you guys done? You good? We get to go now? Oh, this is going to be fun. Hangman and Ishii. Hey, Renee, is your hubby good? Well, here, here's my thinking, Jay Quick, and feel free, anybody else, to pop in here. Uh, with your thoughts on this, I got a feeling that uh, Omega's not going to be around for a while. And with Omega not being around for a while, it looks like Moxley might end up being taking the role of Omega here in this. And that's why he's looking for Darby. He's looking for Darby because it's time that we get rid of the Elite. Because if it's not your company anymore, the most obvious answer would be the box.
But it is it, it is a good story if you know Moxley's leading the way. Hey Vic, how you doing tonight? I don't know if you saw the opening of Dynamite yet tonight. The new, new, new world order. I was going to say it made sense that uh, Moxley dropped his music because nobody wanted to pay for Wild Thing anymore because it just wasn't getting over. But I got to... Yeah, if he wants Darby, where, where is he fit into this? It, as much as the thing might be over with Jack Perry, it's not over with Jack Perry, I think. Confused to why he was coming out tonight versus last weekend, but, but what he said, it's a great move. I don't think they wanted to have the... I... I Best way to explain it, for, as far as I'm concerned, I think they wanted to focus as a lot of the booking was a little rough, like for uh, for we have uh, that trio's conglomeration there that now is the trio's champions with Claudio, Yuta, and uh, Pac. We're having a hard; they were having a hard time making sure that people were getting over with Swerve and Danielson. Like, realistically, if you're going through the card, there may be three or four matches that are really... Actually, sorry, let me put that about four to five. It's a it's AEW. I could grow it a little bigger. <laughs> That's what she said, but... They were having a hard time getting the book, the card to be focused on. You have Moxley come in and do a promo like this, like he's about to take out the B, the BCC. Or, sorry, him, him and whatever group is going to be with him is going to be taking out the Elite. That's going to take a little focus away from the main show, right? Especially with the acclaimed, the FTR. Hey, we're getting a replay of Suzuki and Jericho. Who's going to bleed first? So I wonder right now with Hangman here, I wonder what he, uh, what he thinks is harder, Ishii's chops or going back to school, which is, well, in Canada, that's tomorrow, or at least in Alberta, it's tomorrow that we go back to, that the kids go back to jail, as I call it, as we get our first picture in picture here. And we said, who would Tony bring in as an enforcer? I think we found it. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, everything lines up that they're going to have to fin They're going to have to finish this off. Send them back. Send them back. Sorry, I'm not good with my Arnie impressions, so. Yeah, Vic, do you guys go back uh, this week or do you go next week? Because the way the Alberta... Uh, school schedule goes they go back for two days and then they get a long weekend what the hell is that that's what the kids are going to be saying on Friday as uh, they go back and yeah can't wait for mine to go back next week uh, so yeah we get two just to get all the days that they have to get in they have to do two days this week and then they go uh, next week, they start back and, well, you're getting your lessons starting tomorrow, but nobody's going to remember what the hell anybody says on my school this year. Yeah. I, I find with us as kids, we always used to have more more days of school compared to what they had for anybody else. So somebody in the graphics department is screwing up. They're trying to put the picture and picture ads on and uh, they can't get rid of the background. Eh. They saved it as a JPEG instead of a PNG probably. Who knows?
Yeah, that was big news that dropped today that Athena has announced for the uh, Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling Show coming out third week of October. And good to see her getting out there beyond the uh, beyond ROH, and she has been taking bookings in the states, I do believe. But we'll we'll see how things go here, and uh, I I still think Athena is gonna be up on that main roster by the time. Are they near me? No, they're like three time zones. Basically, the equivalent of Toronto. Yeah, it's just outside of Toronto, I do believe. Yeah, I know the nearest. Uh, well, we have two promotions here in town. We're getting Kurt Angle October 18th. We're getting SmackDown here next Friday, which, by the way, we won't. It's going to adjust some of our programming coming up next week. Uh, we are going to be here for All Out, but we're not going to be here for the collision before. That's your birthday? Let me get that out early here. So we got... Long story short, we're not going to be able to... I won't be here for the uh, collision before All Out, because I'll be at SmackDown. I'll be at the enemy. And... Uh, which also means that on Wednesday, we're going to do a double shot of uh, WWE 2K next Wednesday. Because unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any on Friday. And Saturday is a PLE or PPV. So I sure as hell ain't going to start running a 2K. Uh... What a neck by Ishii there. I don't know what's more, more impressive. The DDT or just sit there like that. That actually looks if you got the Australian doing break dancing and finish on her head. I know a lot of people are actually wishing that she would stick on her head. I wonder if we see Swerve after this. I think Swerve's going to be involved in this because he's... If you go back and watch the match, Swerve had it well in, in tune until the distraction spot by Paige. The crowd didn't... The crowd didn't play it up. The announcers didn't play it up, but... Their graphics department is having troubles tonight, to say the least. Sorry, just checking a couple quick notes that are coming by here. Things have been just flying by here today just because it's... Uh... Of course, everything's on holidays, so... Mox beat up the graphics department. <laughs> I, I can see that. But yeah, I think this is where we set up the match for next week for... Swerve and uh, Hangman. Because Swerve will come out and say that Hangman cost him the title. And Hangman's going to say, good, I'm not going to let you get the title back. And I think the reason that Willow and Chris Stallion, there's going to be a Chicago street fight. is because there's a possibility we're going to do a lights out match with uh, Swerve and Hangman. It, make, it only makes sense. That's the only match that's left. In terms of the hierarchy here at AEW, the lights out match is the ultimate finisher for between a rob for a rivalry, right? You had him st sit on his head after a DDT for ten seconds. Why are you attacking his face? Trying to go over a Saito. Yeah, it's it's weird. We're gonna see, we're only gonna see a few matches tonight overall. I guess you could say Ishii is next strong. I'll give I'll give you a coin for that one. 
No, uh... I just think I just think this is a great match to start out on. But you, yeah, you're not going to get many matches tonight. It's all the uh, recovering from the P PLE, PPV, QRA, CUT, DUM, FUK, uh, whatever acronym you want to use. No, 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 please, no. Well, we, we will not label. F the only time we want to use WCW as association with AEW is next February. Because we are going to celebrate when Dynamite surpasses Nitro for number of episodes. I really wish there was a live cam on uh, Eric Bischoff that night. I know there's no way in hell they're going to do that, but. Gotta love the no sell from everybody here. Ishii gets the no sell. Hangman tried to no sell. I'm sure TK would invite him to the show, but there's no way in hell Bischoff's going to show up. So it's getting three segments to start. Wow. No, this is going to be a real weird schedule this week. And uh, what the fun part is, starting tomorrow is September here on Twitch. I know I've been talking about it a little bit here. There's a couple things that have been added in here that are a little unique. September, for those that don't know... Uh, Subs are 25 to 30% off. If you uh, don't sign up with your Prime sub, you sign, you pay for a regular one. They're 25 to 30% off. They're introducing now bulk discounts for, get, for uh, gift subs. So they're trying to encourage you to spend more on gift subs for people. One unique thing we're going to be doing next week, and I'll, I'll break down the schedule a little bit more later. Uh, Street Fighter 6, if anybody's playing that game and you join my join my stream, if you donate a sub, you get a free color for a cami skin. So I will show you guys what that looks like because I will go get a sub and I will get that color for everyone. So next month is definitely going to be Capcom month here as we uh, head off of Zelda tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to have a ton of wrestling going on here. We got All Out coming up. Then I don't think we have anything to full gear, do we? In terms of AEW, I know we're going to have a lot of WWE getting involved, but... Rest oh, Wrestle Dream's in between. That's right. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Jay Quick. Because last year, I think it was the other way around. No, it was still that same way. Wrestle Dream was first. Or no, Wrestle Dream was early just try to get my pay-per-view straightened out because Yeah, because uh, Re Wrestle Dream was the first time that Cole and MJF worked together, so okay. They worked together on the pre-show and then MJF worked the main event. That was the first time they did it. Second time they did it was Full Gear with the stupidest storyline ever. And then, uh, then having Joe take the title off at World's End, so. So it looks like we're getting a solid finish to the year, at least, so. And maybe we'll get that max deal announced. I, I think they're definitely waiting until after full gear, or after uh, all out here, because... What kind of piss off would it be if you you already paid for this show and you find out you could just get it on a streaming channel you already have? There'll be refunds all over the place here, so. 
And I really wonder what's going to happen in Canada if we're going to be able to get a... Uh, If it ends up going to going to uh, Sportsnet Plus, I can live with that. Because Sportsnet Plus up here, it's like ESPN Plus. For those that don't know, uh, up here in Canada, Sportsnet is the equivalent to the uh, Fox, Fox Sports. Ishii landing on his neck again. Like, oof is the best way to put that. Just straight up oof. And we're, we're getting half an hour for this first match here. That was an unprotected dead eye. Wow, no way. Ishii hasn't been able to get a win yet in his time here. That's probably why he's so pissed. So the That's his happy face. <laughs> He's always he always looks miserable. Oh yeah, just I just saw something here. It's not delivery. It's not dinner. It's DiGiorno. So wrestle votes. If you guys have them on uh, X, go take a look what they just posted. They uh, posted. Oh my God. Yeah, that'll be it. The dead eye. Let's get the clothesline. Let's get this done. They just posted a picture of. Uh... Yep, yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Uh, Wrestle votes on X. Uh, they just posted a picture of uh, John Moxley and Shane McMahon back when Moxley was the IC champ, and McMahon was running Raw. Just thinking there maybe. Maybe. Maybe that could be the possibility here. Do I want to see that? Hell no. It, it's not your company anymore, Tony. Exactly. Shane could have the money to buy him out, you know, realistically. All right. No dance tonight. I... I Even swear, even even Nana's looking angry here. Everybody wants to do the dance, and Nana's just trying to force the dance right now. Here we go. Lights out next weekend. This has to be. And it's funny, Hangman's honestly, as much as we talk about he's not supposed to be a face, he's a face. The fa He attacked his family's house and he's not given a, he wasn't told sorry yet.
I would. Well, technically, Hangman is too, right? Whoa! Throw it out the S word there. Why not? He is right. We're going to get last man standing out of this. Oh, they're doing a cage. All right. We're going to go with the old fashioned way to finish a feud. It was true. That's the way you give up. A cage, yeah. Uh-oh. We're getting personal, personal. We're gonna get personal. Ah. I love this. Wrestle dreams coming up. Yep, that's what we got so far. Ooh. Sorry, this is like in depth.
Ooh. And Hangman just steps out. Wow. So, yeah, so right now we're probably, we're getting Osprey and Pac for the International Championship. If, if this match here, this cage match doesn't main event, I think that will. We got Willow and Statlander in a street fight. And Nana just dancing the life away. And yeah, I think this is a moment of realization for both men here. Oh, here we go. Hater and Cameron. We're finally going to get the return of Jamie Hayter back to the ring. Hey, Mick G, how the heck you doing here tonight? Hope you're doing well. We had a very long first match here. I, I don't know. Do you get a chance to check out uh, the first part of uh, Dynamite tonight? Because we had a very interesting conversation. And we also, uh, we got to go back to that here because I just thought of something else. Oh, Cameron has her health insurance paid up. <laughs> Uh, they, I think this is going to be fun. K Harley Cameron's done a lot better than uh, a lot of people expected. So, But at the beginning of the show, we had John Moxley out with new theme music. And Basie said, hey, Zodiac, everybody's filing in now. We had John Moxley come in and basically tell everybody unannounced, yeah. And he basically told Tony Schiavone that... He's looking for Darby Allen, and this isn't your company anymore, Tony. That's the only two things he's really said through the whole thing. Here's an extra X factor for you that I don't think we put two and three together here. Could there be a possibility that Moxley... Yeah, no BCC either, exactly. But uh, here's another, another factor... In just over three weeks' time, Darby Allen has a title match against Brian Danielson at uh, at Grand Slam, right? Yeah, that Zodiac, you you just brought it up right now. We're thinking that they're trying to get rid of the elite, but there might be a way that they're trying to get Darby the title to be a new faction, maybe. Because you can imagine the amount of violence that Mox, uh, Mox could teach Darby to do on top of what he already does. Here's some long story to storytelling for you, Jay Quick. What if Danielson wants his final match in AEW to be against Mox? What if he wants that as his final match? This is how you set it up. You have uh, Moxley come out and cost Danielson the title to Darby. I'm I'm in the same boat. I don't think Darby's quite ready yet, but I think he can hold it for a month. Hear me out. Wrestle Dream is in Tacoma. You got Mox cost them Dar Danielson the title, so then you end up getting Mox and Danielson in Tacoma at uh, Wrestle Dream. And then your main event could be Swerve and Darby, where Swerve gets that title back. It'd be a bit of a hot potato for the title. But yeah, the killer is back. Once again... For those that are here late, I got my Killer and Pillars shirt on. I don't know if that's going to be a group anymore, but it's the only piece of uh, Jamie Hayter gear that I do have right now. So, I think Darby can hold the title for a month. I don't. Do I think he should be a long time title holder? No.
or it could be very well like like we were mentioning before if you check out wrestle votes on x uh they just posted a picture of when dean ambrose was intercontinental champion the gm was shane mcmahon they had a picture of each other they're just let's start conspiracy theories everywhere Oh, hi, Jamie. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this matchup. I, I don't think it's going to be as much of a squash as a lot of people think. Do a spin Rooney. Shut up. Get that sign out of there. Ah. Uh. The return versus the most improved. And Soraya's made the trip across the pond, so it'd be interesting to see how things go here. Ruby, yeah, Ruby Soho's gone. You got... Uh, well, that whole faction pretty much broke apart. So it's hardly... Cameron seems to have borrowed a lot from Bunny. Yeah, maybe. Well, Bunny's not wrestling anymore, so... Could use the extra gear available. Okay, so they're in South Dakota on Saturday, and then next Wednesday, I gotta think they're coming. Oh, they're, just, they're in Milwaukee, so yeah, they're just making a quick sk skip back. So once again, just a reminder, I won't be here for the sixth show that's coming up on the screen there. Friday the 6th, I will be at SmackDown. At least the plans to go to SmackDown right now. Things could always change, but we will be here for All Out. Thick show, yeah. I got a feeling that show's going to be packed with talent just because it is going up against. And Jamie just said, nope, we ain't doing that move. Harley's got a bit of a botch once in a while. We, like, just because you're the most improved doesn't mean you got everything perfectly here. I think there might be a possibility that at the pay, at the pay per view we get Soraya and Jamie. Just because, you know, filler. I don't think you're gonna get uh, Mariah May defending the title right away. I don't think you're gonna get Mercedes Monet defending the title right away. <laughs> Harley just oh god all right that's gotta suck Harley trying but she know she not getting off that well oh here we go it's over And Soraya's face was hilarious there. She's like. Looks like Jamie hasn't lost a step. Well, that, you know, that works out well. Can't even go up the ramp like most people. Yeah, I got a feeling that if we're going to get two women's matches on the card, this will be the other one. Ooh. 
Who's Renee got now? What the hell is that? Oh God. So in other words, he didn't say anything about it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, what? Okay. Nice to see get Brian Keith will cut well after seeing what Taz did to him. We're still bringing that up. Conglomeration. Atta boy, Keith. <laughs> oh, that's great. Watching uh, Renee just have a look, that look on her face. I'm going to run the ads so we can try to keep somewhat congruent with the show here. So we're going to throw a minute 30 ads here just to get them out of the way here. No, I, I do hope. And it, it's funny because actually on uh, the old X, once again, somebody put up a, you know, those candlelight vigil emotes that they have. They uh, they put up one up there, Jericho on hiatus following this match. It's so in other words, they're doing a prayer circle for that. That showing the match graphic. Tony Khan gets in. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy this. Just you have to trust me here. I'm like what the hell are you doing, Tony? Like Tony Khan has a way of running his mouth here on the old socials, but. It, uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, I'm like, what the heck? Sorry, I just wanted to clear the screen up here, but, um, yeah, I, I have to say that this card is shaping up nicely. I, if you do remember last year, they did not do much promoting of the actual card itself. It almost felt like a December to December situation where they advertised like three matches and the other eight just, they told you at the, either the pre-show or maybe the day before. That collision's going to be jam-packed with announcements, that's for sure. TK needs to stop publicly being a fan on me Mania. I... I can see where he's coming from too, but... Yeah, there, there has to be that certain level of stepping back. Because there's some guys you're just not going to win with. And as long as he as long as long he realizes that there are those certain people that you're not going to win with, period. Then you might be okay. But, yeah, he's just got to be extra careful on that. He's running a business, not a fantasy wrestling league. Well... In a way, as you're watching, you might say he's sort of doing both with some of the matches he's pulling up here. And a lot of people talk about the non-coherent storytelling and whatnot. And yeah, we are getting a bit of uh, 
lack of stereo storytelling here with the fact that we're getting this matchup after the tag after the titles have changed hands already. Because I think we were all looking for those titles to go away already, but but I hear you. Like it, it would be smart to stay out of the way, stay smart, stay quiet. That was a low blow. Oh, and apparently the diamond ring got stolen from him the night before, so they had to go to the brass knucks on that. And it was nice to see Daniel bring up that. Oh, goody, we're in Illinois and MJF's coming out. But as much as this injury is a farce from MJF, apparently. So we have had what two matches in the first hour? Looks like we're only going to get four matches on the card tonight. But they're going to breathe. That, that tan job just ugh. I, ho I hope he does realize that, you know. I think he had, I think uh, Shivani screwed up there. Are they still the fighting Illini or do they have to go with the Orange Crush now? Oh, God. Nope, not at all. No one did. You better not say you're from Canada. Okay. Yeah, I was like, yeah, they could have you. Of course, we show you no respect. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, oh. How did he cheat?
Someone tell Long Island is still in the U.S. We haven't had the Civil War yet. That's next season. So, we, we know we're going to get the run back with the world title with these two. That's sort of uh, under the obvious category. Well, guess what? He didn't even get him a chance. I love this. I almost guarantee this is a match we get next Saturday. Garcia just having none of it. No way. Oh, he's doing it in the corner. How vicious will he get? He probably violence, yeah. Now security shows up. Garcia was looking for that security guard three times. As the security guards are tripping over each other. So I wonder who stole the ring. Maybe they're trying to play it up that Adam Cole stole it. Stomp a mud hole in him and walk it dry. So we're trying to do it again. Daniel shoving MJF over the top. That's hilarious. No, we're we're gonna get this next Saturday. It's I think this is about as obvious as you get. Dave, just get on the mic and say we got this next uh, next Saturday. <laughs> okay. So now he's got to go to Buffalo Pawn Shops to get it. Got no remorse for your ass, boy. Wow. Yeah, 
Yep, we call it. We called it. Okay. That's pretty good mic toss there. Don't take him down the face tunnel. Everybody hates him over there. Granted, don't take him out of the heel tunnel. Nobody likes him there either. I like the fact that they didn't have the big... Uh, I, I know Zodiac, this is one of your biggest pet peeves when it comes to wrestling. Have the music introduction and all that. Garcia just came out and beat the shit out of a runaway. Just no excuses. Let's go out there. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to... <laughs> you got to love the guy... The, the security guys that are falling over themselves going through the tunnel. Yeah, good say. It's an MJF segment, isn't it? Isn't every MJF segment long? I figure that like A equals B, isn't that like a constant? I'm Garcia dancing in my seat. I am so happy for this signing. CTNA announced they're getting rid of Ultimate. Yeah, I keep getting that email, even though I haven't been an insider for a while. Good that they aren't starting this with a stip. No, they'll, they'll do a stipulation later. They can do it at a uh, Wrestle Dream or Full Gear. Depends how long they want to stretch this out for, right? This actually would be a great match for Grand Slam because it's two local boys, right? So that's our main event tonight. Ricochet and Kyle Fletcher. I'm loving it. Uh, not looking forward to this. Just because we've already had enough of Hook and Jericho. I would love this to be the end. I hope there's something here tonight that sort of shifts Jericho in a different direction. All right, ready to see Ricochet be Ricochet? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot to put the gunshot uh, button on my stream deck. I will have that on there for next week. I guarantee it. Because I don't see him being here on Saturday. Very interesting. That's his... Ask Arm for that one. <laughs> I got the file. I just didn't up to update my stream deck yet. Um, Vic. And, and you know what? Since you since you bring it up, I'll throw it out here for you right now. Which way do they go first? They got Fletcher, right? Fletcher's a member of the Callis family. Hey, yeah, uh, good to see you tonight. Hope you're doing well. We got. A lot of craziness going on here in uh, the old wrestling circles. But I got to ask you guys. Kyle Fletcher is a member of the Don Cows family. Which match is this setting up for? Are we matching up for Takeshita or are we matching up for Osprey? Because there are technically two different ways we can go with this. And I feel that they might even do the the curveball and throw Takeshita out there try to lit, try to catch that lightning in a bottle on that one but on the other hand and to Jay Quick's point about using Osprey right now there is a possibility that you know Tony Khan just wants to get rid of these matches as fast as he could 
My bad, I got kicked. I missed all you. Okay, so long story short, there is a possibility here that Takeshita could be the guy that uh, could be going with Ricochet next instead of Osprey. Because, you know, the whole Don Callis thing and Don Callis wants a real killer to take out Ricochet. Because let's face it, you do not have to have a build for Osprey Ricochet. You call that match sometime, it's just gonna happen. You you're gonna get you're gonna get ratings. To catch the better way, but well, it's an indie booking, Jay Quick. Come on now. Technically the indies don't exist. Oh yeah, before I forget. What the hell is that? As soon as I see the wave, I gotta get that out. Oh yeah, facts, I expect everyone before Jay gets to Osprey so it's it's so easy to, yeah like you get Ricochet specifically because you have Osprey but that payoff would be too quick Ricochet needs to be fed a little bit built it use anticipate yeah like everybody's gonna be sitting here waiting for this match and I think we all know that you know we're gonna get it barring injury which no, 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 please, no. I'll just do that right now. But yeah, we are going to get that match here. And I, I know everybody wants to see it. Like, think about it. we're We're going to be able to get Swerve and uh, we're going to get Swerve Ricochet here somewhere. Hell yeah, and then when we finally get there, Okada, Omega, the F out of them for me. Yeah. Yeah, like, that that's the biggest thing. And here's, uh, and we're talking about this off the top of the show. What if Omega is going to be out long term? What if Omega is not going to be able to come back for a while? That might be the reason why Moxley's in the story the way that he is now. Because I honestly feel that you're going to get Mox in there as the elite cleaner or else he's out there to fuck with Danielson, one or the other. To set up that last match between Moxley and Danielson in Tacoma. The stars are lining up way too well to have Danielson not uh, not finish off there. He's supposed to finish off this year. Oh, and Vic, he does that every stream, by the way. Don't encourage him. It's so funny. Nobody wants... I am encouraged. <sighs> oh, yeah, we get Mariah. Where is the best in the world? Jamie. Well, go take a look at Wrestle Votes. Uh, and if you haven't seen them yet today, I or were you the one that retweeted? Oh, no. Game Time Art's the one that retweeted it. Um,. The opening of the show tonight, if you get a chance to see it, was John Moxley coming out and saying, Darby Allen, I'm here to see you. I'm not hard to find. Then his last note is, this is not your company anymore, Tony. As he said that to Shivani. I would like it to be Shane to get involved. In as long as he isn't involved in actually being in, in the matches... I really could give two shits, to be honest. If he's there, great. He brings the name recognition. Get him involved in a match and let's see him tear both his quads again in the first movie he does. Oh, yeah, please. No more matches. Yeah, exactly. Like, we ended up making Snoop Dogg 1-0 and at WrestleMania. WWE stable with Miro Mox, Jericho. If you're dealing with Jericho. Uh, 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 
my doorbell keeps going off for some reason. They can contribute a lot to TK store. Absolutely. Like if we were going to get a guy like Shane McMahon involved, it would bring eyes. It definitely would bring a lot of eyes. And that's the thing. Will it, will it be what AEW needs though? Are those the eyes you want to see? Because you are going to get all those uh, WWE detractors, trolls, whatever you want to call them. And the only stable Jericho should be in his catering. <laughs> and his dad would fit. Well, his dad's in rough enough shape already, but with his buddy probably going to jail here pretty quick. But uh, I digress about that. But, um,. Any eyes are good. It's what you do afterwards. It, 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 Zodiac, you got a very good point there. Just if they can get the numbers in because of it. That's why they're not even hitting. Yeah, no, they're. This is a do not pass go. Do not click $200. You are an idiot. We are getting you right now. I know we don't talk too much politics and whatnot here, but. Since he is a WWE Hall of Famer, as far as I'm concerned, he can fry in 16 different ways. But maybe maybe he could teach Kane how to. Uh, Kane's one of his disciples. Maybe that maybe that should explain a few things here. Maybe go find his Iron Mask or something. But I digress. I love how Bill still has the uh, the WWE Hall of Famer that uh, is running for President of the United States here, Mr. Zodiac. And I'm not talking about a Hulk Hogan here. But yeah, let, let's try to keep politics out of this as a whole. And also, a little miss this. Thank you, Jay Quick, bringing up the summary here. Uh, it was a gr great 25 minute match to start the show between Ishii and Hangman. Hangman eventually gets the victory. Swerve comes out and basically says, You know, you, you think I can't beat you by myself? Well, let's just keep everybody out and keep us locked in. And maybe you can learn to be a man. Step all you want. My toes are big enough and heavy enough. I don't mind getting stepped on. I, I love the lights delay tag by Orange. No, feel free, Jay Quick. I, I love the fact when people let me know what's going on and what I'm missing here because half the time I'm a brain dead idiot. Like Swerve's got a good story behind it. And he's basically showing how, yeah, he, he might have been wrong, but Hangman's being a petulant kid about it, which makes a lot of sense. Jericho and Briscoe at the same time? Okay. Going to go for the crane kick? Nope. Roddy just said no to that. He knows how dangerous that is. But it really is great to see Brian Keith, like completely off topic here. Seeing Brian Keith in this ring is just absolutely amazing. But it's also going to be interesting to see what matches we get set up here for the remainder of the card. Because if you... Love that for the man. He's a cool dude. Yeah, absolutely. Taz, Choco, Jericho. They can't tonight because the broadcast table is up at the top. Like it's just uh, to the side of the entranceway tonight. So last time they had it right by the ring 
So it had perfect timing for that, right? I'd like to see what Nigel's response is to everything that happened at All In on Saturday. Yeah, no, they've been tip typically setting up the dynamite, uh, the uh, dynamite commentary table has usually been set up on top of the stage. And then collision, they usually have it at ringside. But if they, ha if they have the double taping, it's usually at ringside for the most part. They got to be setting up Danielson, Nigel. Who knows? I, I, I know a lot of people want to see it. There could be a poss like. This is where this Moxley thing gets confusing, because Moxley, Moxley, from what he was saying, there is a possibility that he could be looking for Darby to help him screw over Danielson. And you also got to remember, Christian's got that briefcase. There's no reason why Nigel worked this hard to make it back. It's coming some way, somehow. I, I think so. As we hit picture, picture number two. So both of our matches off the top of the hour have hit three segments tonight. And this is, I think, what you're going to see the same next week as well on Wednesday. For the fact we're only going to get uh, maybe maybe four matches, maybe five, just a little bit to s save us for the uh, the pay per view on Saturday, especially since they got to work live on Friday as well. So how'd the job interview go, Jay Jay Quick? I know that you mentioned that uh, earlier this week. You were prepping for it. I hope you were. I hope you were anticipatingly nervous like not too nervous that you weren't going to be able to do anything in it so hope you get the job hope everything goes well I just hope everybody's doing well here tonight because it is crazy good they're sitting eyes across the T's okay that's great that's that's always great when they can finally get everything settled down and figure it out Last time I went for a job interview, they said they had to cross the uh, I's and dot the T's. So I knew I wasn't getting the job. So, <laughs> But uh, they asked for availability. Well, they're always going to ask for that as well. So as long as you didn't fail any questions for them on what they're looking for. I know in many ways, a lot of people say it's tough to get a job these days and it, it it's different in different parts of the country. I know overall here to find your ideal job. Yes, that's going to be a little hard, but to get a job, there's help on it signs everywhere. Just might not be the job you want, but there's lots of jobs there. But yeah, I hope you get it. I hope everything goes well for you there. I hope Jericho gets the piss beaten out of him right away, but I don't think that's going to happen here. Oh, and the Red Sox beat the Blue Jays again. Hey. So it looks like we got that. Tomorrow we might get a play. Bring up. At this point, I don't care as long as I get a paycheck consistently. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, it's like everything in life. You got to worry about expectations, right? Sounds like I got the job once the background. Yeah, so just take your time, make it work. So the over under, I've been I've been off for three days, right? Plus, this is my regular day off today. You want to guess how many times they've asked me to come to work since I've been off? Just just take a wild guess, chat.
every day. They didn't bother me on Sunday for the pay-per-view because they knew the answer already. So right now I have gotten Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Every day they've, they've called me wanting me to do something. Monday, I found out I'm getting a new work truck because the, uh, the guy who was supposed to get it doesn't want it because it isn't his style. Yesterday there was a break-in and I'm the one who got the phone call even though I'm not working. And then today somebody got sick and the boss arranged it that Tuesdays and Wednesdays are the days that we are, if somebody books off, we're short-handed, so we'd be extremely short-handed today. Guess what? I ain't answering my phone for any of them. The hell with it. You got to value yourself sometimes because, you know, work will just take advantage of you if you do that. I always get more phone calls on my days off than when I was at work. But yeah, I just... Mental health first always, absolutely. What the hell was that? I wonder who interrupts Danielson? It might be Darby. As much as Mox says that he's not going to be there, or that he isn't here. He might be. Or do we get Nigel out here to break it, to come out and talk? Maybe Mox interrupts? I don't think he do a Mox interrupt after he opened the show like that. Or maybe nobody. Hook and strong, that would be a fun match. Oh God. That is the cheesiest, dumbest. All right, let's get the extras out here and deal with stuff. And it looks like we're going to get strong and, uh, strong and hook. Yeah, and Zodiac, you're bang on here. Anything Danielson does, it's up to him. And, and I think that's the smartest way to do it. Just let him do what he wants to do. Like, he's a smart enough man. Like, I think he's booking most of the stuff right now anyway. As much as T TK say there's up to 20 people helping with booking. Twenty-seven. Sorry, yes. My apologies. I thought it was twenty. But yeah, twenty-seven people helping with the booking. So, if that's the case, then the hell is she wearing? Twenty-seven bookers. Hey, well. Uh, guys, Camille is probably going to pitch you out of here. Oh, God. Oh, 
I think Camille comes in and just... Oh, are we playing this game? Are we playing this game? Um, Camille, that elephant don't leave a lot to the... All right. We got a new storyline here. All right. Uh, well, we get... Uh, so for those that haven't... Uh, so for those that weren't around for the press conference, I, I don't know, Zodiac, if you're being uh, sarcastic or not here. So I'm just going to play it straight. Um, some dingleberry, some dingleberry during the press conference had to bring up a question about the divorce that she just fought, that she dealt with and she talked about last month and dealt with it already. And she said she spent an entire press conference talking about it, getting through it, answering all the questions about it. But during the post show for all in, some dingleberry had to ask about it. Which I get reporters ask for about stupid stuff. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm with you. Like, it's it's none of our business really, but she made it public to us and let us know. But she did say her piece about it and let everything know about it. So, but yeah, she is openly single right now. And they brought her up during the press conference. This is probably trying to settle this out. And uh, just settle that little story point out. And now they're going to play up the story that Okada's the, uh, Okada's doing the hitting on right now. I don't know to what degree or whatever. But yeah, she's part of the elite right now, so don't... We're, we're going to have to see how things go here, how to set things up properly. And see what's going on, because... He, here's my... Could, may I throw my conspiracy hat on for a minute? Um, I actually might... Well, hold on here. Just pretend these are ra these are uh, you know those little barn ears or whatever those those antenna you know the for the conspiracy theory. Here's my conspiracy theory, and I'm going to throw this out to about 14th level here. Mox said that he's it, it's not your company anymore, Tony. What if they're talking about Darby and saying Darby, you know what, you're cool. Well, you can take that title off Mox. What if we end up getting Rebecca Quinn as the person that's on Mox's side here under Shane with this WWE faction that comes back and takes over AEW? You could have Rebecca Quinn, you got Miro, just people that have been there for too long. This band's a little tight, so I'm, I'm going to end the conspiracy theory there. Especially now that Mariah's there, we got to get caps off here now. So they're doing it from the stage. They're not even going out to the ring. It was me, Tony. It was me all along. Hi, Nigel. So I wonder, is she going to... Did she fulfill her promise? That we get to celebrate, we get to celebrate it naked. Uh, uh, that outfit, that outfit is interesting. Tony's trying to pretend he's stumbling over his words. Yes, you are. But I regret to inform you that the AEW Women's World Championship celebration has been taken from you. 
Probably didn't want to put it in some place like Champagne. Oh, cheapy. <laughs> I'm giving her one of these. Give her the helmet on that one. That is a, you know what? It's a joke that's probably been used millions of times, but I love it. Wow. Wow. So is she going to do the Rick Rude thing for the whole, for this? Let's hope. Well, I guess that's what she said she's doing. It's really Sherpain Urbana or Shabana. Uh, okay. I can see she has Tony's sense of humor. <laughs> I love that kid. Okay. And Tony's just trying to hold it in. I'm like, Tony, you're not very funny at that. Okay, so we get another recap and... Oh, never mind. Yeah, that was great. That was great, Vic. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that. We warn the young bucks and we show you FTR that the GYP are messing around. This Friday on Rampage One, Unlucky TV. We're going to find out they have exactly the Outrunners. Oh my. All right, well, the Outrunners are dead. Might as well hit a ditch or two here as you go. I'm going to throw up another ad here so we can get things synced up a little better here. Because I think we're going to get an extra break here before the Danielson introduction here. But, no, having the GYV as part of the tag team division here in AEW, I think is an absolute home run. I know a lot of people talked about the Motor City Machine Guns who... Still haven't shown up anywhere yet, which honestly does surprise me a little bit. I figured that they'd have them out. If, if they were signed by the Fed, I think they'd be out here by now. And yes, I know the Fed is a bad term for people that watch, but it's almost a bad spot for them to be in regardless right now because what, you put them on uh, SmackDown, they got to go up against... Uh, the new bloodline 
Who's got the titles on Raw right now? The Judgment Day. You don't want to take them off them. NXT, Chase, you just got the titles back. So right now you're... There's no real good spot to put them in there to make them a tag team unless... Like, realistically, they should be on the main roster right away. They've been on TV enough. And one thing we've learned is the fans are a lot smarter now than they were before. So... Having them sit around in developmental and getting used to stuff. I, I don't know if we'll actually have that. Here lies the Outrunners. Let's just... I, I, I feel sorry for that 80s, the 80s run that they're having, but... Yeah, no, they're... Yeah, they're done. They're done. It, it, it's not going to be very pretty. But yeah, uh, just looking over everything and the way everything's going right now, like, it would make more sense. Like, don't get me wrong, the tag division in AEW is absolute garbage at times here, but just because nobody's really put any care or attention into it, but I, I still think it's a better shot to be here than to be over in WWE in, in terms of, you know, trying to get a premium spot getting in terms of money i that's totally out of my reach and whatever and, and it's something that zodia brought zodia brought up uh, last week here when we were talking about uh, rebecca knox becky lynch whatever you want to have it maybe they're just happy not working right now because shelly's been out there for a long time and saban's not exactly a spring chicken either This is cool. So he ended up losing in the semis, the block final. Yeah, Takeshita here is like Takeshita's money to be had. Okay. Um, can anybody say a little bit of speed in that match? Commander Leo Rush, Takeshita, and Mortos is there to be a post for everybody. Well, Takeshita's getting his winning streak back up a bit. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, must watch on Rampage. Yeah, like... Got to see him work LA Mania week last year. He's huge. Yeah. Well, let, let's put it this way. You're getting Takeshita's return. You're getting the GOIV debut. All on Rampage this Friday. Like, they're trying to make Rampage as relevant as they can right now. This is so, this is amazing. Uh, you know what? We, we enjoyed it. Main event getting 20 minutes. No, we got, uh, we got Danielson coming out for his celebration too. So they're going to get probably about 15, I think 10, 15. Cause Danielson still has to come out to do his championship celebration, whatever. Talking about his future, blah, blah, blah.
How do you think he could be different in AEW match-wise, assuming there, that's his intention here? He's going to get longer than three minutes. The fact that he can actually work longer than three minutes, I think that's going to be enough. There's actually a Kyle Fletcher fan in the crowd. And more people will watch it. Well, fair enough. Well, you look at Kyle Fletcher and his matches on Dynamite. Like, who's he at? Osprey, MJF. Uh, he had Samoa Joe, I do believe, once. And we get Don Callis on commentary. Isn't that a bonus? <laughs> I wish this was 2020. I got a very strong feeling we're not going to have to worry about that. He's go Ricochet's going to get plenty of 20, 25 minute matches. Taz chokes out Callis. We can all hope. We can all hope. You really think... Hey, Vic. You're asking how Ricochet is going to look different in AEW match-wise? I think, I think he just did it in about two minutes there. That's Taz's gimmick. He just chokes up people at random. I would love to see it. Oh, leg lariat. Well, that's one way to do it. One thing is you do not want to get caught in a flippy flippy contest with uh, Oh Jesus. You don't want to get caught in a flippy flippy contest with Ricochet because you are going to lose. And this has lasted longer than SP not yet. We still got a couple minutes yet. Because the championship match is five minutes. <laughs> Samantha Irvin knows that he can last longer than five minutes, okay? I guarantee you that. <laughs> and if he doesn't, well, that would, I'll, I'll be honest, that would shock me more than anything else. But yeah, like in terms of Ricochet, he's he's not going to be restricted. That's the biggest thing. She go to mom. Well, Samantha Irvin's one of those that could go to anybody she wants. But either way, but yeah, Ricochet in terms of being in the ring, like there's certain restrictions that WWE puts on you when you're in the ring, like certain moves you can do and. The pace you got to run. AEW doesn't have those restrictions on you for the most part, I do believe. So, we're not going to have a problem seeing a difference between them here. I mean, his moveset is the same so far. Yeah, I don't know how much you really need to change it, though. Ricochet has a lot more personality here than I ever saw him have in WWE. Yeah, exactly. Like, the confidence that he has here, like, hell, just for coming over here, he just has that level of confidence right now, right? The biggest thing about, about AEW and the wrestlers involved is... 
And and this is where that whole people talking about no stories in WWE thing came in. I think it's more that these wrestlers have to rely on themselves a lot more to get themselves over versus what we see coming up with the prepackaged product, with the with the promo set in a certain certain direction, no matter what. In AEW, it's the wrestlers that get themselves over, and they do it in many different ways. You got a guy like MJF who does promos, and he can go in the ring, but his promos set up his character. And it shows that he goes too long as well, but that's a whole different story. Guys like Ricochet can come in and just say, look, I do all this, and I know that I'm a best, so that's why I'm doing this. Want to see how it creatively gets over and stays over? It's all about who he feuds with. If they're going to stick him down in the mid card and... And there's levels to that mid card, of course, in AEW now. Because realistically, if you have... Uh, if you have Will, Will Ospreay as your international champion, can you really say your mid card's really mid? Obama war cry again. Ugh. Sorry, just had a uh, just had a banner I had to deal with. The mid card is bruv. Their mid cards main event everywhere else. Yeah, like that's what I'm trying to say here, guys. Like this is one of those problems that's so nice to have that you have to try and find a way to get everybody on the card and. Now with the two shows, the way that it goes, I, I do see that there is going to be a lot more separating of the brands, I think, overall. So I wonder if we're going to get a 720 out of this. Both feds did good with their mid-card. Gunther elevated the hell out of WWE's. Yeah, exactly. But I do think, you know, Gunther did elevate a few guys. They also left their roster a lot more compact than AEW did. At least what they show on TV. Which is why Gunther is your champion on my GM mode at 2K24. Which will be right after this. And let's just give you a coin as well. Yeah, I was, I'll, do the, I'll do the whole spiel after the match is done here. But um, yeah, stick around. We're going to have one week th this Wednesday. Uh, we, the follow up from Fastlane. We're four weeks away from uh, our fourth PLE. I can't remember which one they're doing here for us. Um, just a programming note real quick on WWE 2K24. Next Wednesday, we are going to be doing a double taping. Because I won't be here for uh, Collision on the Friday. So Here's one I don't see too often from him. That's Peyton Royce's finisher. What are you doing? Or Cassie Lee now. Sorry. You don't see many guys here doing a running shooting star in uh, in the old AEW here, right? Maybe Seidel. I'm sure Hologram will pull out about 15 of them a match, but he's a superhero. I find it interesting that uh, Ricochet's wearing gloves for this. 
You wouldn't wear gloves in uh, in WWE. Kid man bias, but the man did did that born kid now how to do the shooting star. Yeah. Oh, Kidman biased. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. Matt. Evan Bourne, Matt Seidel, absolutely is like. He is the god of the shooting star. If it isn't Billy Kidman. I'd almost give that a three for Ricochet, only doing a dive like that to the outside. There's no flippy flippy in that. Oh no, here he goes. Mr. 630, let's go. Yeah, that Lariat was stiff. The fly nothing. We haven't seen a flying nothing in a while. Brimbosta. Kyle's already lost focus. Is he going to go for a... He's trying to go for a V... You don't do it. Okay. Ricochet doing a very nice block here. Ricochet runs out of the... Nice. I think Ricochet's not used to getting smacked the way he did. He might be a little off. Because, yeah, Vic, you made a good point. That was a stiff clothesline. These guys look a little bit off since then. Okay. Um, is that new? Chat, let me know if that's new because, you well, know, I haven't watched Speed in a while. Looks pretty cool, though. He's remembering strong style. It's been a minute. I feel like Ricochet landed on his face first a while ago. Yeah. First match back in. First first solo match back in. Got to get the cobwebs out, right? Callus not happy again. And here comes Takeshita. Never mind. Never mind. Are they just gonna throw it up next next Saturday? Let's just get it out of the way. Let, let's just randomly throw this out on a one week build of a pay per view. That's right, we got Pac next week, never mind. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you.
Yeah, I got a. F I feel like Fletcher Ricochet could have been a lot better. Hope for a first match, it's okay. Expectations aren't. Expectations are always high, but Ricochet got over, showed a, showed a little bit of what he can do, kept him going for late. Uh oh. Um, who the is that Marita Shafir? Uh, uh, hello, Shafir, Shafir is going to be relevant in AEW? Um, okay, that took a little bit to pack in here no pun intended for the previous segment we well, yeah, got sorry zodiac yes Pac osprey is going to be amazing so they're not giving us a commercial break here they're just going straight into the final segment marina shafir darby allen john moxley think about that for a second there is a lot of violence involved. I didn't recognize Marina because she did not look like herself. She's always been very, like, the hair tied back and... Always in combat gear. She, she in a way, almost looked like Beth Phoenix for a moment. Like a smaller version, of course, relatively speaking, but... All right, Danielson, what do you got? She's been more of a charisma vacuum than Jericho and Andrade combined. Hey, if anybody can get anybody over, Moxley. Think he jumps Brian here? No. I don't think so. He might, this might actually be one of those cute endings. Either that or you have Nigel come out here and lay him out. But also there's a bit of humility. He talked about humility. And now Danielson's coming out for a celebration. Crowd's loving it. In front of over fifty thousand people in Wembley Stadium. What a storytelling of a match, guys. Thought for a quick second it was bet yeah, I I'm trying not to think that as much as humanly possible. If that was. Damn. 
So what are they going to do here? Like... I didn't even realize they had this... I, I see the side plates and they're very regal and majestic. I forgot I got to turn the Xbox on early. Tried to do some automatic updates and it wouldn't update fast enough before the show. Little kid, what? Is he really going to pull this? Yeah, AEW is pretty awesome. But... Thank you for, you, you could have waited an extra half second, they'll drag that out. Yeah, give it three months. Really? Watch this be Christian. Let it be Nigel. Let it be Nigel. Let it be Nigel. Really? We're getting Jack Perry? What? Oh, goody, we get Perry. Hey. 
So we get Perry and Danielson next Saturday. I don't know if this is actually going to... Could this just be the fact that Swerve and Hangman are going to main event the show? Title for title. Uh, no, they'll just put the one title on. It's an EVP dick move. It's a safe enough match. Like, Jack Perry will give him a good match, but I don't know. You got to get you got to get the booking done. So I guess I guess we'll go with this one. And it does sort of make sense. The fact that we're going to have. Um, I'm going to snooze that for a second here. It, it's going to make sense that we're going to get Darby versus uh, Danielson in two weeks. Could have it be Danielson versus Perry at Grand Slam if Danielson's done. Nigel would have the power move. Maybe Nigel's still training. Maybe. Maybe Nigel comes out at the end of the night and, you know, Shows off a little bit the fact that he uh, he wants Danielson at uh, to at a Tacoma for Wrestle Dream. Maybe I I think that's the power play you got to go with, wouldn't you think? Eventually, if you want to get your top match, that would be the top match to go with. But uh, yeah, all in all tonight, like I didn't expect a whole lot from this card because they really had only four matches announced. We only got four matches. Ricochet Fletcher, while it isn't going to be one of your most memorable matches, it did enough to service the fact that Ricochet's here and sort of set up set up that tease about uh, Osprey and Pac coming up next week and sort of set up the tease between Osprey and uh, and Ricochet in terms of that friendly fight. Um, the conglomeration, that match basically set up Hook versus Roderick Strong, possibly, for the FTW title next week. Well, we'll have to see. Like, there's a lot involved there. Um, Jamie Hayter getting her return, beating out uh, Harley Cameron. Maybe we get Soraya and... Uh, Maybe we get Soraya and uh, Hater at the show, maybe. And then the big news tonight, I think, if, if you're looking through everything, there's two big notes you got to take out of tonight. And they both let off the show. One, we're getting Swerve and Hangman in a cage at All Out. And the other one has to be this growing faction that uh, Moxley's getting together here. First, he's... He's got himself. Now he's got Marina Shafir hanging out with him. Who else does he have? And he said he's looking for Darby, which I'm assuming he's going to talk to Darby next week. Because, well, Darby's got to be there to set up something, right? Unless he, unless he legit is not going to show up until after All Out and just prepare for that title match at Grand Slam. Either way, it's go it's going to be interesting to see how things work out here. Uh, we got to see three minutes of Mariah May, which Nigel, that's plenty for Nigel, I'm guessing. And then, uh, yeah, our, I I don't know, chat. You anything else memorable out of this? Not really. I I don't know if we're gonna get. I I like I said, I didn't expect a whole lot. I do know we're going to have to start filling in some blocks here. Uh, we're getting the debut of Grizzle Young Vets uh, on Friday at Rampage. We're getting the return of Takeshita on Friday on Rampage. But other than that, I think we're pretty much in a holding pattern. Tony Khan's going to have like five or six matches announced. He's probably going to announce two or three on Saturday where we're going to be back here for AW Collision this Saturday. And then uh, probably Wednesday he'll announce another two, three, and then the card's pretty much full. 
And always remember last year, there wasn't much announced for All Out, and it turned out to be one of the best cards that they've had uh, set up. So don't uh, don't sleep on the fact that AEW All Out could be a very good show. And I'm not just saying that because I'm going to be here for the sidecast. But uh, yeah, this all in all, a passable dynamite, not an over the top win, but something decent. Thank you.